it was tough for everybody. Uh, uh, the industry largely shut down. But yeah, the pandemic was, it was, there's still aftershocks because people are still getting sick. So it was, uh, it was no fun at all. I don't recommend it. Thumbs down. <laughs> all right. Yay, man. Yay. How we doing, everybody? Woo, woo, woo. I'd like to welcome y'all to the Shoals Theater. Uh, thank you so much for coming out and supporting. And, um, uh, my last audition, it's an interesting story. It's, it's, it's almost like where it stopped. But uh, uh, my last audition was for a movie called American Underdog. Uh, the Kurt Warner story, and we got through it. We did it, and we made it. And the movie, you know, was 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 out on time. And uh, then Maverick uh, started uh, everything back. It got everybody kind of back in the in the in the theaters. And uh, here we are. We know, we know we got back in, but yeah, it shut it down. It was terrible. Uh, it was a good thing I didn't take all that money and go to Jamaica and spend it, man. It was maybe put it in the bank and save it because people I'm from Alabama not be shy to run from that. And I had every opportunity to do it too. My agent was in Nashville. I could have told him I was in Nashville, Tennessee, real quick. And now, what the business doesn't care, but I care. And, right. And and I wanted them to know that yeah, we're not just barefooted and you know farmers. Perfect. You build it, they will come. That's what we've done, and that's their, their, their coming. And it's, it's more and more each day, and also, too, the resources that this state has, you can't hide those. People are going to want those. Beaches, we have skyscrapers, we have countryside, we've got waterfalls, we've got oceans, we've got, uh, uh, we've got uh, filmmakers. We've I have remained non-union. I am sitting in this chair, non-union. Alabama is a right-to-work state. 35 to 40 percent of my income is non-union work. And this is their rule, SAG's rules, not mine. And I, I didn't break them, I didn't whatever, I just complied with their rules. And I auditioned for their work and I got hired. Uh, it's a uh, home and it's a uh, the comfort zone is, I mean, trust me, I work in L.A. and I have, and it's, it's so fun to come back home. <laughs> I, it's a great place to work, I'll put it that way. Who they, where they are, you know, so uh, uh, Sweet Home Alabama with Reese Witherspoon, Reese Witherspoon, a former scene partner of mine. Wasn't a bit of a frame of film of it shot in Alabama. Duh. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I didn't mean to let that out of the bag. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, yeah, they, you know, there has been. The pride thing, uh, anything, anything at home. We did 42 here. We did, um, uh, uh, I've done many independents and some student stuff. And uh, it's... Um, I don't know, it just always to me seems i got to give something back. I cannot be this blessed. I've got to give something back. So I do this. I do what I'm doing. I'm doing what I'm doing with you right here, right now. I told you I'd help you, and I'm helping you, you mm -hmm. know. So it's, why not, man? I mean, any film to me, anywhere and everything, is, is um, important as far as it's forever. So you try to kind of make it look as right as you possibly, possibly can. You're not wanting to insult the intelligence of the audience but your resources are limited and you don't have but so much budget and you got to make Birmingham look like Chicago you know so you go do that and we take liberties but we have to but uh, we mean well my name is Michael Casey I'm a writer director and producer just be able to roll with the punches because Planning as much as you can, get things before you start uh, rolling. Pre-production is incredibly important, but I think the way independent filmmaking's become, everything is such a time crunch. Film, filming has gotten shorter, ramp up time's getting shorter. Everything is just quick, 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 quick. So 
most be as prepared as you can, but also just be willing to adapt and just kind of realize that your days are going to be crazy and you just got to have kind of a calm demeanor as much as possible. All right. It was happening prior, even prior to COVID because of the streaming services. Like originally, like Netflix and all that stuff opened up like so many other platforms for people to make films. But I think what ended up happening is so many films were made. And if you look at them, some of them are, you know, I'll never talk bad about a, bad, a film because of you know, how hard it is to get a film made. But now there's almost too many films and the streaming services know this. And so they're paying less and less for the films. Mm -hmm. And that's the other part of like filming in these smaller areas is just like, um, the town is, is very, but usually, that's been my experience anyway, it's very welcoming and, and LA, like, no one cares. It's just all about money and right. you know, how much money can I get? And you go to these smaller places and you just get the hospitality that you don't get in a lot of places. So I think that was a big thing too. At least we benefited from it, I'm sure, but I'm not sure if that was part of the planning or not, but I'm glad that it happened that way. Pros and cons to every crew, but I think the unit, like I said, like some of you guys have worked together already, so you could tell that kind of unity worked, but also, it's all, to me, it's all about experience gets you so far, but there's effort and, and really the desire to be doing what you're doing. And I feel like working on a crew really had that. Somewhere new or just somewhere other than where I live is always an experience. I like staying in a hotel for s short periods of time. Not There's been times where I've stayed in hotels for six months. It's a lot. Um, but yeah, I, I would love to go back to Alabama. Really, I thought crew was great. And we can, again, the hospitality is amazing. It's first novel, it's based on a screenplay that I wrote that hasn't been made into a movie, which might change. So that's coming out May 30th. So this is a bucket list item for me. Name? Sure. It's Bill Schweiker. Um, that's spelled uh, B-I-L-L-S-C-H-W-E-I-K-E-R-T for those keeping track at home. And uh, I've been in the in the film and video business for over 40 years. I've DP'd 26 or 27 feature films, depending on who you talk to. Some of them I might not want to claim, but... Uh, uh, They're there. Yeah. yeah. It has. The pandemic hit everybody, but it hit us really, really uh, in a really negative way. Because, of course, when you make a film, you have a, a lot of people that come together in close proximity. Way. The film business in Atlanta hasn't always been the TV work that I have with Fishmonger and Dead Meat and Ranch America and um, Sporting Chef, okay. which which is a production that started in California and had a connection to Alabama, and then a producer took it over in Alabama, and it's it's crewed mostly from Alabama people because the results are are really really good. And they don't have to hire crews in LA to shoot. Being on an indie feature film, a, a horror comedy that we're going to shoot here in Alabama. Amazing. Rob Wolf, I am a, uh, a local businessman, attorney, developer in Birmingham. When I was doing property development management uh, in downtown Birmingham, uh, mid 20 teens uh, we kept on getting calls about I have this film I have this film I have this film and I try to get resources and honestly I, I almost did not pick up the phone the last time uh, this guy called but I did and about a, two weeks later Hollywood descended and I fell in love with the process Roughly half of the crew was pulled from Alabama. Uh, everybody had to fly in from LA or Atlanta. Very expensive, you have to pay per diem, you have to pay hotels, you have to pay airfare, you have to pay union off days, stuff like that. Um, where 22 years, uh, three years later, we had seven films going on at the same time in Alabama, almost 100% uh, crewed by Alabama crew. Uh, major difference and two of those were 15 million dollar plus films so, uh, they know how to make films they know how to finance films and other films what they come here for if they find out that it's easier to actually do that um, and there's really not much of a difference between somebody coming from uh, Oklahoma or North Carolina uh, LA and coming here to make films because it's you spend five hundred thousand dollars or more on a, on a major motion picture or you can have several commercials or videos or TV series that equal $500,000. Once you hit that threshold, you qualify for our rebate. Our rebate is, is pretty decent. It's a tax incentive. Uh, roughly 25 cents on the dollar that you spend in Alabama 
um, you get back as, as a tax rebate. Uh, 35 cents on the dollar for everybody you hire in Alabama. So there's a, there's a really good incentive that you could ever, ever want here. And one good thing about Alabama is this industry is so nascent that it's easy. It's easy to act, get access to cities, locations, municipalities, renting production offices. Um, in Atlanta, it's difficult. In LA, it's darn near impossible. There's so many, uh, so many hoops you have to jump through, but it's still easy here. Um, Um, so to qualify for that, you have to uh, produce your budget and the application with the Alabama Film Office in Montgomery. They look at it, they approve you, um, make sure your your uh, your financing is solid and, and you do have sources of income, and then they they grant you the uh, a car. Yeah.